Hi Taurus, this is going to be your reading for July the 5th to July the 7th, 2022 Taurus. I hope all is well with you guys. Hope you're staying positive, protective, blessed, and prayed up. And keep your guards all the way up, Taurus and cross watchers. Spirit guys, we got an angel or angel ancestors, my God, angel, Holy Spirit. What are the messages for the Taurus? Taurus, Taurus, what is going on in the Taurus life? What are the Taurus thinking for they doing? What are they up to? What are they going through? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What are the messages, spirit guys? Got the angels for the Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What's going on in the Taurus life? What are the Taurus thinking for they doing? What are they up to? What are they going through? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Taurus, you could be manifesting, I don't know, love, money, new opportunities. Okay, new love, new, you know, you could be a practitioner, a light worker, a healer. You could be going to a practitioner or something like that, Taurus. Taurus, what are the mysteries for the Taurus? Going on in the Taurus, like what are the Taurus thinking, feeling, doing? What are they hope? Okay, Taurus, what's going on? What's going on in the Taurus, like what are the mysteries for that for the Taurus? Taurus. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to cut you. <laughs> what are the messages spirit got for Taurus? Taurus, what's going on with the Taurus? Do we dealing with a Scorpio or a Virgo? Okay, we had a 9 of 1. Someone's watching you, Taurus, or you're watching someone. Someone's trying to get information on you, trying to figure you out, trying to see who you're with, who you're talking to. Are you sad? Are you mad? Are you glad? All right, this could be someone watching your relationship, watching you. This could be an ex, a lover, a secret admirer, a family member, who whatsoever. All right, but someone could be looking at you in the wrong way. I don't know, giving you the evil eye. I don't know, something shit. Or this could be you. All right, top card, King of Swords. So you dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius, or this could be you. You know, you you defending yourself. You're not playing any games with anyone. You mean business. Uh, you don't got time for the bullshit. You ready to cut a motherfucker head off. All right. Um, cold, abrasive, demands respect. So you can be like setting boundaries, drawing the line between some people that you're dealing with, whoever, family members, or friends. But this is you cutting out bullshit out of your life that don't serve you well or mean well for you or so ever. Or this could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius that's that's mean towards you, real controlling, okay? I don't know, trying to stop you, block you, or this could be you doing this, the world, okay? Someone wants to end something for you, Taurus, or you want to end something. But I think this is a Gemini Libra Aquarius or Aquarius or King of Sword. Someone wants to end something, stop something for you. I don't know, your growth, your your dreams, your goals, your success, your career, your life. I don't know. Someone wants to end something for you. Or you want to end something for someone. But it could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius you're dealing with. Someone wants to stop you, block you. Someone wants to cut you off, cut you short. Someone wants to stop something that you do. I don't know. Whatever you do. You being recognized, you being seen. So whatever you do online or whatever, uh, someone wants to stop you, block you. Someone wants you to stop something. Someone wants you to end something. Someone wants you to give up on something. Or this is you. The six of ones, yeah. So six of ones, success. Someone's jealous of your success, your career. You know, things are moving forward for you. Things are looking good for you. Um, this is you succeeding, you know what I'm saying? Follow your dreams, your goals, achieving you know, whatever you're working on, uh, you know. So someone wants you to end something. That's what someone wants you to do. They want you to end your success, success your career, your goals, your dreams. Someone wants you to give up on your uh, purpose, you know. Yeah, the world. Someone can be jealous of your success or you're jealous of someone's success, uh, Taurus. Yeah, so whatever you do in the world, people recognize you, see you, they follow you, they like you, they look up to you, you can be a role model, a leader, entrepreneur, whatever, whatsoever, but you, people like what you do, and someone's jealous of you, so someone's trying to restrict you, stop you, control you, ugh, it's crazy, six of swords, so you got a Gemini leave Aquarius or Aquarius that's coming towards you, Taurus, yeah, be careful, 
this person coming towards you because you're winning, because you're successful, because things looking good for you, things are looking up for you, you're moving on, you're moving forward, all right? Um, this is someone thought they could stop you, Taurus, or you thought you could stop someone from moving forward, from moving on. I don't know if you're dealing with a fire sign, Leo, okay, as well. Or you can have it in your summer, rise, Venus, or no. But you got to, uh, someone's coming towards you. A gang of people. I don't know, jealousy, envy of you, enemies, frenemies. All right, someone's trying to gank up on you because you're successful, because you're doing something good. You you know, you're in the light. you like a very popular. you like a celebrity, famous, or whatever you got going on towards. Someone's jealous of you, or you're jealous of someone's success goals. All right, but someone's coming in. I don't know, to throw you off, to distract you, to get in your way. I don't know, to star shit with you or some people or whatever. Okay? <laughs> okay, let's clarify some shit. Okay? Spirit, clarify the King of Swords. Clarify the King of Swords for the Taurus. Clarify the King of Swords, Spirit, for the Taurus. Clarify the King of Swords for the Taurus. Give me a minute, Taurus. So we got to clarify the King of Swords for the Taurus. What's the King of Swords about? Okay, Empress. So someone could be jealous of your Empress, or you're jealous of someone, the Empress. Someone is healed. Someone's healing. Someone have healed. Someone's very wise, smart, intelligent, very intuitive, grounded, balanced. Um... This is someone's in control of themselves. This is someone's very loving, caring, nurturing, love unconditionally. Okay. Um, this person been there, done that. This emperor, this person have been there, done that. This person have healed. So someone can be jealous of you, Taurus, or you're jealous of someone because they're the empress. All right. They heal. They move on. They strong on their throne. All right. They here to teach people. Uh, you know, they can be an earth angel, divine feminine, or chosen one, divine masculine, or who whatsoever. Okay. But someone um, is jealous of you because they can hurt you. They can't fuck with you. They can't bother you. They can't throw you off. You know what I'm saying? They just cannot do the shit they used to do to you. And you mean they know how they used to you, they used to fuck with you, they used to get to you and make you mad. But now someone sees that you're in tune with yourself, you're grounded, you're balanced, and um, you know, <clears throat> you wise, you see through this person, Taurus. You see through this person what they're trying to do to you, they're trying to provoke you, or this person see through you. Okay, but you're the empress. Someone knows that someone's mad because you're the empress, because you're someone that's Beautiful, intuitive, um, very positive, um, high vibration. All right. Uh, someone's just mad. Unexpected pregnancy. Be careful. You can be pregnant or you can be having some problems with your uh, uh, having kids, fertile, like, you know, fertility or something like that. You can be going through menopause or something like that, your period or whatever. Okay. Um Yeah, this like I said, this could be you. Someone's like jealous. This could be an ex of yours, a couple, a family member, or a friend of your enemy. But this someone's mad because you are a grown ass person now. You don't got time for bullshit, you know. So this is someone's trying to throw you off your throne. All right, this is someone see that you're a leader. Okay, you're a leader. All right. <laughs> So give me more on the Empress. Clarify the Empress for the Taurus. Or oh, this could be your mother figure or whoever. Clarify the Empress for the Taurus. What's the Empress? Give me more information, Spirit. Thank you. Magician. So, you could be manifesting Taurus or trying to manifest this Empress or someone's trying to manifest you because you're the Empress. Or uh, this is Gemini, Virgo card, magician, it could be anybody sign. But someone could be trying to manifest you. Or you could be manifesting love, uh, new opportunities, love, good health, good wealth, prosperity in your life. Okay, you could be a practitioner, a light worker, a healer, a high priestess. Okay, uh, Taurus. 
Okay, or this is someone trying to manifest you. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Gemini, or any sign. But someone could be doing magic. All types of rituals, spell work. What's the Empress? Yeah. Yeah, someone can be trying to manifest you. Or you're trying to manifest someone. Someone could be doing love spells. Come back to me spells on you. Or you doing this to someone. But yeah, someone could be manifesting. You could be manifesting or someone's trying to manifest you back in their life or who whatsoever. Yeah, someone could be a witch, a practitioner, a light worker, a healer, a high priest. That can be you, Taurus. Okay. So we got to clarify the magician. Give me more information on the magician. Clarify the thank you, spirit. Ooh, we the devil. I knew it was something kind of sneaky. So someone could be doing dark magic, spell work, black magic, witchcraft, voodoo, juju, hoodoo on you, Taurus, or you're doing it to someone. You could be dealing with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus or a group of narcissistic flying monkeys, low vibration people, very dysfunctional. All right. Or this could be you, Taurus, or this could be someone doing this to you. Someone could be sending you the negative eye, negative energy, the evil eye, negative entities, forces, targeting. I don't know. Someone could be jealousy, envy. All right, don't want to see you move forward. Okay, someone, <clears throat> excuse me, this could be a group of people. Yeah, they be trying to, like, fuck with your throat chakra, trying to shut you up. All right, um, the devil, yeah. Jealousy, Amy, so someone could be doing magic, dog magic, black magic, witchcraft, all types of shit on you. I don't know. This is jealousy and envy. These people are very dark and demonic and low vibration. Either this is you, Taurus, with these people, or these some people that's against you. Okay, very jealous and envy. Okay. So we have clarify the devil. Give me more information on the devil for the Taurus. Clarify the devil. Thank you, spirit. We have the fool. These people think you're a damn fool. Or this could be Aquarius. Someone's taking a leap of faith towards you. Or this is, yeah, someone's, they mad because you're taking a leap of faith. Someone else. But these people, I don't know. The fool. The devil was the fool, the fool. So someone could be coming towards you. They think you're a damn fool, Taurus. I don't know. This could be someone. Or this could be you taking a leap of faith, going by your way. This is you taking a risk, taking a chance. You moving away from these people. These people probably mad just because you're moving away. You don't have anything to do with them. Or this could be someone taking a leap of faith towards you. All right, that's up to no good. All right, this person can be jealous of you, and they coming in, uh, pretending like, I don't know, they want to make amends with you, they want to, I don't know, someone's sneaky. They think you're a damn fool, Taurus, or you think someone's a damn fool, but someone's coming in, jealousy and envy, they very toxic, low vibration, uh, very, yeah, this can be a friend of me, I don't know, just be very careful. Who's coming towards you, or who? I mean, what the hell? Let's clarify the fool card. Give me more information on the fool card for the Taurus. Clarify the fool card. Yeah, be careful. You could be going on a date, or someone can be coming to see you, but they don't have your best interests. Like three of swords. Yeah, deception, jealousy, envy. All right, this could be a family member, friend, or. Someone you had in the third party or someone had you in the third party. Okay. Someone is like still hurt or someone's still grieving over a loved one that passed away. Or someone's still grieving over someone betrayed them, deceived them, backstabbed them, hurt them. Deception, three of swords. Someone wants to pay back. Someone wants to hurt you, betray you, deceive you. Yeah, someone thinks you're a fool, Taurus, or this is you doing this to someone. Deception, lies, jealousy, and envy. Yeah, be careful with this person that's coming in towards you, Taurus, or third party deception, jealousy, and envy. They said hurt people, hurt people, but just be careful, you know. Three of Swords, we got clarified the Three of Swords for the Taurus. What's the Three of Swords? Thank you. Six of Pentacles, so it could be about money. Someone could owe someone money, or you took some money from someone, or. I don't know, someone could be coming to borrow money from you, Taurus, be careful. How you lending that money to people, they, they might get, you might not get paid back. This is deception. This person's not honest. This person's not telling you truth about something, that they need this money for something, Taurus. 
So someone's coming in begging, asking you for help, some type of assistance, some type of support, something. They need, maybe they need a place to stay, or this could be you, Taurus. Or this could be a family member, a friend, or you. But someone's coming in for some help. They need your help. They need money. They need food. They need your help. They need a place to stay. They need some type of assistance, some type of help. Okay, from you, but they lying, they not loyal, they not honest about the money that they need from you, about what they asking you, all right, so be very careful, clarify the six of pentacles, spirit, for the Taurus, clarify the six of pentacles for the Taurus, spirit, clarify the six of pentacles for the Taurus, spirit, yeah, this is deception, lies, betrayal. Someone's trying to use you. Yeah, someone's a user, a freeloader. They come in to use you for your money, your food, the place to stay. All right, this person's not a friend, Taurus, okay? Whoever this person is, this fool, okay, three of swords and all that shit. And we got the Delph card, the devil. So whoever this person that's coming towards you, they very deceptive towards you. They're not loyal, not honest. They're coming in to use you and abuse you. Take your money. Uh, they coming in to ask you, like I said, to ask you for something. And they ain't going to pay it back. They're not going to pay it back. And if you do, it'd be a long motherfucking time. Okay? So... Huh. So we got to clarify the uh, deception. Yeah, this be deception about money. Yeah, this could be someone lying to you about money, hiding money. Just like, I don't know, don't want to see you get help, don't want to give you... Is this someone... Okay, anyway, clarify the Six of Pentacles, Spirit for the Taurus. Spirit, clarify the Six of Pentacles for the Taurus, please. Thank you, Spirit. Two one, so someone. This could be someone far away from you. I don't know, close to you, or someone you haven't seen in a while, long time, years. They need your help now. They need your support now. After they done backstab you, betrayed you, deceived you, lied on you, all types of shit. Okay, this could be someone you haven't seen in a while, in a long time. They can live far from you or whatever, but they're thinking about coming towards you because they need your help. Okay, Taurus, they need your help. They're watching you. All right, online or whatever you do, they watch you, they noticing you. This could be a family member, a friend, an ex of yours, or this could be a secret. Maya, who knows? But the cause is just falling. Or this could be you watching someone, Taurus. You thinking about moving closer to someone, near, moving close to your job, near by the water. All right, or this could be a secret. Maya, someone's looking. I don't know, this is someone's up to no good. I don't know, this is someone, I don't know, let's see. So we got. Clarify the two of wands for the Taurus. Give me more information. Thank you. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Someone sees security helping hand. So I don't know if this person wants to reach out to you and help you and help you. I mean, help you and help you. <laughs> okay. I don't know if this person looking at your security helping hand, your divine wishes, your blessings, your talents, your gifts. So what if you do online? This person is watching your gifts, your talents, your blessings. Security happy hand. This person see how gifted you are, how blessed you are, that uh, the universe is helping you, your spirit guides, your ancestors, your guardian angels. All right. Someone see that you're very talented, you're very gifted. All right. Are they noticing your gifts? They, I don't know. They, they notice how talented you are. They see... That your divine wishes, your blessings for good karma, your behavior, all right? Something that you do, you show, you know, the world see it. So whatever you do uh, towards someone's watching you online, on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, or whatever, all right? You can be recognized. Someone recognize your gifts, your talents. Someone sees who you are. Someone likes what you do. I don't know, something like that shit, right? <laughs> So someone likes your gifts, someone likes what you do, okay? Someone wants might want to work with you. I don't know, but someone's watching you. They're looking at what you do. They know you're very talented and gifted, okay? Um, so we have clarify the Ace of Cups. I don't know, maybe they want to support you, um, reach out to you, give you something. So we have clarify the Ace of Cups for the Taurus. Give me more information. On the Ace of Cups for the Taurus. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, someone sees you're a Nine of Pentacles. Someone sees that you're very abundant. You're gifted. You're blessed. You're happy. You're unbothered. You're very wealthy, well-established, Taurus. Or this could be you looking at someone in this way. But someone sees you're beautiful. You're gorgeous. 
and they like you, they can be very attracted to you, or you can be very attracted to someone. But someone sees you're very um, independent. You love to take care of yourself. You keep up with your appearance. You smell good. You look good. You're sexy. You're handsome. All right, someone sees that you're very abundant and you're single or... Um, yeah, someone sees that, you know, you got your shit together or you see someone got their shit together. So like, give me more on the Nine of Pentacles for the Taurus, please. Give me more on the Nine of Pentacles for the Taurus. Taurus, the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, someone sees that you're very blessed, you're very skilled, gifted. Okay, all right, we got the handman reverse. So someone's ready to come out of the closet, come out of the cage, they're ready to come towards you. Or you're ready to go to someone, someone ready to, to talk now, to explain themselves. I don't know, someone wants to get to know you, someone wants to tell you how much they love you, how much they miss you. Someone wants to come out of the closet, out of the cage. Not out of the closet like they gave, but you know, like someone's been hiding, like in the shell, like isolating themselves. Someone wasn't ready to come through, talk, you know, and explain themselves, you know. Um... Yeah, someone's ready to date again. This could be you. Someone's ready to date you. Someone's ready to talk to you. Someone's ready to have a relationship with you, Taurus. Or this could be you, okay? So things is off a hold, Taurus. You, um, you're not on hold no more. You're available now. You're ready to mingle and pringle because you're single, all right? You're ready to move forward with someone. You're ready to, to open up, okay? Whatever. It could be new relationship or ex or who whatsoever. So we got to clarify the hangman. Give me more information on the hangman. Oh, shit. So we got to clarify the hangman reverse. Clarify the hangman reverse spirit. What's the information on the hangman reverse? Clarify the... I don't know. The page of swords. I don't know if someone wants to play games. I don't know. The page of swords. Someone's being very deceptive. They're up to no good. They're being sneaky. I don't know. Some shit like that. Be very careful towards So this is you. But someone's like, okay. So we got to clarify the hangman. Give me more information on the hangman spirit. Thank you. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Someone's wanting to come towards you, Taurus, or you. This could be a Virgo, or it could be any sign. But someone, I can tell you, someone wants to come out and play. Meow, roof, roof, or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, this could be a Virgo, any sign. But someone's coming towards you, Taurus. All right, to make an offer with you, make a deal with you. It could be business and pleasure. All right, sex or whatever. Or this could be you, Taurus, going to someone, or someone going to you, coming to you. Yeah, someone's ready to date. Someone's ready to socialize. Someone's ready to mingle. Yeah, someone's coming in, traveling at night to see you, or daytime, or someone's coming, and you're ready. You're ready for this person, Taurus, or this person ready for you? Yeah, someone's ready now. Someone's, I don't know. <laughs> someone's like, okay, baby, I'm ready. I'm you. You can't wait to go out with this person. You like. You all frantic and hyper. You like can't wait to go out. You can't wait to this person. I don't know. Someone can't wait to get to you, or you can't wait to get to someone. All uh, right. Someone asks you out. Do you want to go out? You want to party? You want to drink? You want to smoke? You want to date? You want to kick it? You like hell yeah. Let's do this. Goddamn. You feeling confident in yourself or this person? All right. Someone's feeling confident. Um. I don't know. Someone's feeling itself. Clap for the Knight of Pentacles for the Taurus. Clap for the Knight of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. We have the Knight of Cups. So this person might kind of feel insecure or nervous. Or this could be you feeling insecure or nervous. Someone's feeling like uh, they know they did you wrong. They know they backstabbed and betrayed you. They feeling guilty. All right, someone wants to come in and apologize, give you something to support you. All right, this person kind of nervous. They don't know how you're going to react, how you're going to like them towards. So this could be you. But someone's feeling a little insecure because they kind of scared of rejection. All right, um, so they kind of feeling nervous and insecure about coming at you. It's, they, they taking their time, though. Okay, Taurus, or this is you. Someone's taking their time because they're kind of nervous, kind of skeptical. They don't know how you're going to react or whatsoever. Maybe because this person betrayed you, backstabbed did you wrong, a ghost of you. Maybe this will be an ex of yours or a new person. I don't know. They just, I don't know. 
they feeling kind of like a little bit insecure because they like you. They, they don't know if you like them back. They don't know if you feel the same way or who whatsoever. All right, Taurus. I'm going to end this reading. So far, it's good reading. All right, Taurus. So this is y'all reading. Stay blessed. Smooches.